Did you know one of the most powerful positions in the Texas government isn't directly selected by voters? On paper, the Speaker of the House is just an administrator tasked with keeping order in the lower chamber of the Texas legislature. But in reality, the Speaker has an incredibly powerful position and sets the agenda for the State House. The Speaker determines which bills come out of which committees and when they come to the floor for a vote. They can also apply pressure to try and force votes in certain directions. Perhaps the greatest example of the Speaker's power is that they name committees and appoint committee chairs. If a state representative goes against the Speaker, he or she may risk being frozen out of the legislative process. So, who decides who gets this powerful position? Your state representatives. When the legislative session starts, your state reps are sworn in and they cast their first vote, selecting the speaker. At least, that's what the public sees. Behind the scenes, state representatives call each other trying to win enough support from their colleagues to become the next speaker. Currently, Republicans control the Texas House and have the majority to choose a Republican speaker. While that might be comforting to some, a Democrat-backed moderate or liberal speaker candidate can always come in the race, sway support from a handful of Republicans, and snatch the speakership. And once the speakership falls into moderate or liberal hands, the speaker can work to block Republican priority bills, preventing reforms such as protections for pre-born children and guarding election integrity. Despite Republican majorities in the Texas House, The last two speakers used their positions to stop conservative reforms by enabling obstruction from the Democrats. Both speakers were widely recognized as being more concerned with appeasing the Austin lobby than they were with passing legislation important to conservative grassroots voters. With recent concerns about riots, voter fraud, and rising property taxes, what can you do to make sure your concerns aren't disregarded by a Democrat-owned or lobbyist-run speaker in the next legislative session? Ask your elected state representative who they plan to support as the next speaker and ask how they will involve you in the process. If you don't want a particular candidate to be the next speaker, let your state representative know. This video was narrated and produced by Ashley Wittenberger. If it was helpful to you, please be sure to like and share it, as well as subscribe to our Facebook page, YouTube channel, Instagram, and check out all our digital products at texasscorecard.com.